Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Ray Shine. For those of you who don't know me, people call me Ray. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something different. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you are not already. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. Now I know that I have been MIA. I've been missing for a little while. But I've been trying to, I've, been, I've just been trying to really solidify myself as a brand. I've been really trying to not just solidify myself as a brand, but to also present a product that is worth selling, if that makes sense. Something that is worth buying. And I'm not just talking about a physical product, but also myself as a brand as well. Because before anybody can sell a brand, you have to sell yourself. Before you sell a product, you have to sell yourself. And so that's why I have been trying to show up more for myself and not really depend or not really worry about how i look per se you know because we all know that perfection is an enemy it is my enemy for sure and so taking comparison out of the window and any of those things that could hinder my growth and so with that being said you all know i have a brand called o-ray beauty co which is my name and i told you guys i don't know if you know but um o-ray beauty or o-ray comes from my name which is rayshawn ogushiakin rayshawn ogushiakin so i started this brand in 2021 and it was at its baby stages i want to expand i want to grow my brand and I, like i said i see other people you know expanding their brand and god is definitely taking me to a place of expansion so sometimes i think to myself like maybe i'm not getting enough product and sometimes i doubt myself because i'm like i mean i can't get a hundred you know, different pieces like other people and so i feel like well maybe i shouldn't do it so that's what's been holding me back too thinking that i'm not i can't get as much as other other people because I don't have finances to do that to get a whole lot like I really want to but sometimes God wants to trust us with the small first before he can really trust us with the greater the Bible says that when we are faithful in a few things God will bless us with many we have to be faithful with the few that God has given us and be good stewards over the thing that he has given us so god wants us to increase he wants to enlarge our territories but i'm not gonna lie i have not always been a good steward over the things that god has given me i think that sometimes i just become so excited and i don't really write things down i don't really you know look at the bigger picture i just jump straight into it and i don't really do what i'm supposed to do so i can admit that i have not always been a good steward but sometimes like i said in my last video it takes you making the mistake in order to grow and learn from that mistake. So I also want to read this scripture to you guys really quickly. And it's from the book of Isaiah 54 verse 2. And it says, enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. And when I read it, I always think to myself like, this is talking about making room for what you're going to get. You're talking about, like I said, expansion and stretching wide. Because God is about to do something new in our lives and he wants to add to us he wants to increase us and i do receive that for myself i've always received it but i just didn't know how and i felt that was something that i needed to figure out how it was going to get done but sometimes when you're in christ you don't have to figure out how to do things exactly we just have to put our trust in god when god promised you something and when he speaks his word it, it has to come forth it has to produce and that is in his word and i've read it so many times i can see if i've never come across that scripture but i always come across it and i'll be like well how what do you mean woo, woo, woo. so when i pray i pray that i'll be like lord god enlarge my territory lord god extend my course like expand me and when he do that as far as my business is concerned Concern, I'll be having clients from all over coming to me for me to do their makeup. So I have to be careful not to complain about what God is doing in this season because God is doing something new. So with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys my products. I'm going to go ahead and actually start. I may do some swatches. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my lip liner. So I got three lip liners and I wanted to make sure that these three lip liners were lip liners that we all can use, especially for the melanated girls, okay? But we all can use them. So I got three colors. One is mocha, one is espresso, and then one is nude. So this is how the packaging looks for the lip liner. And as you can see, it does have my name on the front, which is my logo, O-Ray Beauty. So this is how it looks. And all of these products are cruelty-free because I definitely picked out the names because I wanted the names to be something that like I would actually say and use. So this is how the packaging looks for the lip liner. And I'm just going to take it out because I'm going to show you. I'm not going to take you to take it out of every packaging, but this is how it looks. And I like how they come a little bit more sturdy inside of these little holders. 
So this is how it looks. And again, it has my name on the front. Now, this one is in the color Mocha. And this is how they look. They come just like this. In the future, I may be changing my logo in a different way whereby it's a little bit more longer because I want it to be able to fit on any product I put it on. So it does fit, but it's pretty small. But nonetheless, I like these pencils because they are retractable. So I like a retractable pencil. So this is how the pencil look. I am wearing mocha right now on my lips. This is what I have on today only. I'm, I only use my lip liner. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it so y'all can see. So this is how mocha looks. It is a like a black brown. It's very dark. And I wanted to make sure I got something that was dark because I know that I will put on a black lip liner quick. Okay. And so I prefer like a black brown than a black liner. I would use a black liner, but I prefer like a black brown liner if that makes any sense. So the next liner that I have is Espresso. So this is Espresso, which is a brown. Espresso is just a nice chocolate brown and so again these are retractable sharpening something is so like unnerving you know what i mean i just hate sharpening stuff even though i i have pencils for sale that do sharpen so i do have those as well so i'm going to go ahead and swatch this one forgive my hands my hands are ashy this is mocha and then the second one is espresso so last but not least for the new lip liners we have the nude. So this is again the packaging and this is the shade nude. And like I said, they do come with, um, this is a new packaging for the liner. So I'm gonna still sell my previous lip liners, but these I'm gonna get the retractable ones from um, from now on, cause I just like the way they look. And it's just, it's not such, it's not a hassle to just turn the pencil up. So this is nude and you can see the color of the pencil like right here as well. And yeah, so this is how the new one looks. My swatches are very little, so I don't know how y'all can see it. Mocha, Espresso, and then we have Nude. I really hope that you all can see it. These are the new lip liners, and um, this, uh, this is also the new packaging. I really like the retractable ones. My previous lip liners that I do still have and sell, those are the ones that you have to sharpen. So we do have other colors. I just want you guys to know these are not the only liners that we have. Okay, so make sure you check out my website. I am going to be relaunching all of these products. I believe I want to say on Friday. So make sure you look for it on Friday. I will be doing an announcement on my Instagram page. So again, make sure you look for that on. So right on, we're going to move on to the lip glosses. So I did end up getting four new lip glosses. Now you guys already know, we already have lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. Okay. We did sell out of the Sugar Plum, which is the Merlot, kind of the, the reddish liquid lipstick. That's the only one that we're sold out of, but we still have our other lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. And I'm going to just go ahead and show you those real quick because they're right in front of me. This one is Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum is the one that we no longer have. I still have one for myself and one in my kit. No longer have this one. Nova is a beautiful gloss and I absolutely love it so much. It is a pigmented, high shine lip gloss. And these are long lasting lip glosses. They stay on your lips for a long time. Another lip gloss is Skin. I love Skin because it just gives you that nudie feel. It's like a peachy nude and I absolutely love it. So here we have Aba Iba Dawn, which is more of a terracotta color. This is a liquid lipstick, perfect with a brown lip liner. It'll look a little darker on a lighter skin tone person and a little lighter on a darker skin tone person. We also have Orchid, which is our liquid lipstick. This is a pink liquid lipstick. Love it so, so much. I would recommend you wear a lip liner with this just because you want to make it wearable. And I feel like a pink liquid lipstick, like you can't go wrong with a pink liquid lipstick we also have skin tight which is a nude lip gloss love this lip gloss this is a lip gloss that you can actually mix with other glosses to brighten up the color and i love it like when i first got this i was like this is just too light i don't know who's going to wear it but all the girls are wearing new i'm actually wearing this on top of my lips today like i'm wearing this on top of my new lip gloss that i haven't showed you guys yet I just like adding this on top. It just makes it look so good. 
you know, it's hard to find a light lipstick or lip gloss. Those are the existing lip glosses that we do have and we still have them on the site, but I'm going to like be redoing the pictures and things like that because they are some bomb, amazing lip glosses. I love the tubes. I love them in general, okay? So let me go ahead and show you the four extended lip glosses that I have added to the collection Ore Beauty. This one is the first one. This is called Sleepover. Sleepover is more of a nudie lip gloss. It's more of like a peachy nude. I really, really like this lip gloss, you guys. Again, this is how it looks. And this is also going to be my new tube. So from now on, my tubes will look just like this. I love these tubes and let me tell you why. So I like the tube because first of all, they have a mirror in the back. What? A mirror is in the back. So once you get yours, you wanna peel off this tape because you wanna move that. You don't wanna be like, all our mirrors are fake. No, that's a real mirror in the back. Okay, so this is how it looks. Secondly, do you see that? That's the light on the lip gloss, the light. On the lip gloss with a mirror in the back. So as you're putting on your lip gloss, you can look at yourself, whether it be in the nighttime, the morning, on your way to work, on your way on a train, it doesn't matter. This is the bomb. Do you understand? This is bomb. I absolutely love the packaging. I will continue to keep this packaging henceforth, okay? So make sure y'all still buy my lip glosses, but still buy these. So I'm going to swatch this one, the new one for y'all. So I swatched Sleepover, which is more of a nude lip gloss. We love a nude lip gloss. All the girls love nude lip gloss. That is so pretty, okay? This one is called For Her. This is actually a lip gloss I already had. I got it again to put it in this packaging, okay? I had lip gloss in my other packaging, but I sold out on those lip glosses that you guys never even knew of. I already sold out, okay? So this is the new packaging. Like I said, this is called For Her. Again, it has the light on the inside. Absolutely love it. You guys cannot tell me this is not bomb. So I'm going to swatch this one for y'all as well. That's this gloss right here. Super nice, not too thick. The glosses are not so thick that you cannot wear them. And this is the one I'm wearing today as well. So this is the one for her is what I wore first. I wore my mocha lip liner. I put on for her all over my lips. Then I went in with Skin Tight. So these are the two lip glosses that I have been wearing right here together. This one got on my lips. Mocha Lip Liner, For Her Lip Gloss, and Skin Tight Lip Gloss, just to add a little bit more brightness. Absolutely love the combination. It looks bomb. Follow my Instagram, and I, I showed you a demonstration with this combo right here, okay? So, like I said, you definitely want to shop these lip glosses as well because these are bomb and they have we have way more colors. So, we have a lot of colors, y'all. It's, it's a color for everybody. I have another lip gloss and I'm glad I got this lip gloss because I wanted a lip gloss that was pink. I didn't just want a liquid lipstick that was pink, but I also wanted a lip gloss that was pink, but not like bright pink. You know, this is like a wearable pink. This is like a mauve pink. It's kind of like a mauve pink, a peachy pink. So it's a wearable pink, okay? It's not like Orchid, my liquid lipstick Orchid. That's a bright Barbie pink. This one is more toned down and I really like the color. So I'm gonna swatch this for y'all as well. I'm gonna put it right next to, I'm gonna put it right next to For Her, okay? So y'all can really see it. Absolutely love these colors so much. So this right here is Barbie. I hope y'all can see it. This is Barbie over here, the pink one. This is Barbie. This is for her, and this is sleepover, okay? So these are the three lip glosses so far. You can wear these colors every day. Like if I saw these, I would will, I will want all four colors because I will wear all four colors, literally. Last but not least, we have another lip gloss. This one is called Hot Fudge, and this is how it looks. This is Hot Fudge. Super cute, again with the light. Absolutely love it with the mirror on the back. This is Hot Fudge. Okay, I'm going to swatch it for you so you can see how it looks. Y'all, I would buy every color. I would buy, they smell so good. These actually smell like cupcakes. These ones smell like cupcakes. These ones smell more like a cupcake and then this one smell like some kind of candy. It's not as strong. Like these ones smell really good. These ones smell good, but not as good as these ones. I just want y'all to know that. So they actually do have a scent. They do smell good. So this one is Hot Fudge right here. 
This is hot fudge, okay? So y'all see all the colors. I will buy every color. I am obsessed with the packaging. I am obsessed with the colors. I am totally 100% satisfied, okay? Glosses are the bomb. You will not regret it because they are so freaking good. So good. Got the mirror on the back, okay? Gloss up, do what you gotta do, but these are the bomb. Absolutely love them. Yes, I would get every color. Every color me, please. Okay. And thank so last but not least, you guys, I have Yes, you guys, I have loose powder. Loose powder. Are you serious? I've been wanting something other than just lip gloss, lashes. You know what I mean? I wanted to I want to expand them, like I said myself. So I have loose powders, and this is how the packaging looks, you guys. This is the packaging. This is a loose matte setting powder. Matte just means that it has no shimmer, okay? This is the packaging here. I love the black. You guys, um, I almost failed to mention that this is the packaging for the lip glosses. This is the packaging. So, of course, you're going to have your lip gloss are going to come with the packaging. I kind of was debating, do I want to have packaging because who really cares? But then again, I was like, if you're expanding your brand, like keep the packaging. Keep the packaging because there's nothing wrong with the packaging. So this is the packaging when you get your product, okay? This is the packaging for the loose for the loose setting powders. Now, I wanted black everything. I wanted everything to be cohesive, everything to be black because when you're dealing with makeup, if you do white or any other color, it can get messy, okay? And we don't want to see the mess. We know that there's a mess, but we don't want to see the mess, okay? So this is the packaging. This is how the packaging looks. It has everything on the back. Love it so, 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 so much. This is the packaging. Okay, super cute. Absolutely love it. I'm going to take out the first product. This is the product right here. I am in love with the packaging. Black, okay, with my logo on the front. And you guys, this powder is so good. And I'm wearing this powder today. I am wearing this powder today. I have it underneath my eyes. I have it right here. I set my whole face with this powder. I don't have on any highlight because I want you all to see how the powder actually looks on my face. Like, I want y'all to see everything. I don't, I don't want the highlight to try to disguise anything. Like, this is literally my makeup. And I've had this makeup on now for about two hours. Two hours? Maybe two hours and a half. No, I had this makeup on for I had this makeup on for about two, four hours now. And this is the powder that I'm using. I'm using no other powder except for this one. This is the powder I'm using underneath my eyes to my reverse contour, and I set my whole face with this powder. This is how the powder this is this powder is in chocolate, and this is how it looks. I'm gonna cough up some so you guys can see it. Okay. So this is how the powder looks. And this powder also comes with a powder puff. So we love us a good powder puff, okay? So for those of you who do use powder puffs, I remember when I was working in retail, ladies used to always say, does it come with a powder puff? Does it come with a powder puff? Does it come with a powder puff? I mean, it all that was the main question. Does it come with a powder puff? Because sometimes we don't always have brushes. You know what I mean? So a powder puff that's already inside of the powder and you could just be like, oh my goodness, girl, let me blog, girl. I am sweating, girl. My oils are coming through. This will come more handy than a brush when you are on the go, okay? You may not use it during your makeup, but after the fact, this will come in handy as you are on the go and it will blot the makeup. This, this is not going to just add coverage and add powder, but it's going to blot your makeup and it's going to set those areas that are oily so you don't have to worry you don't have to worry about getting a tissue or let me get some blotting paper. This is this is to blot your makeup, okay? So you want to keep this because this is what all the girls are raving. This is what everyone are using. These are coming back in style. The triangular ones, the big old ones, these are coming back in style. So you want to keep these to blot your makeup, okay? And like I said, I've used this everywhere, all on my face, this powder, okay? You want to put it back in here and that's how you're going to um, actually use it. I love the color of this powder because it's not too dark. This is a setting powder and it is thinner than a finishing powder because I want to be able to use this to set underneath my eyes and I don't want it to be dark because if I needed it to be dark, then I would have just got a finishing powder. So I got this because I was inspired by Patrick Starr's um, setting powder and the color of it. And I said, wow, it's a perfect color. It's not something that is too dark that I can't set underneath my eyes because not every girl wants 
their setting powder to be super light. Not every girl wants that. They want more of that natural finish. So I made sure to get a powder that had that was going to give the girls a natural finish. And as you can see my face, my makeup, it's giving me more of a natural finish. Now I did do a little extra and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, okay? You guys, I didn't just get one powder, I got two, okay? This is the second powder that I ended up getting. This is a high definition powder in the shade Banana. This is more of a lighter powder. So I, I did want to get something that was for light to medium girls. I didn't want to get something just for my melanated girls, but I also want to get something that could extend from light to dark because I'm dark skinned and I use this powder today. So this is how the powder looks. It also comes with a powder puff and I use this today right here. After I set my, after I set my makeup, I put this on top right here. And I will be demonstrating that in another video. So anyways, I did. And I let it sit there. Maybe a little bit too long. You don't want your powder to sit too long. But I did use it to put underneath my eyes. Okay? And look, let me know how I look. Yeah, it look good. Because you have to learn how to sweep your powder away underneath your eyes so that it can blend. Okay? And I didn't do too much blending. It sweeps away really nice. I like these powders because they are finely milled powders. They're not like too heavy, too chunky, and too thick. You know what I mean? These, they come on nicely. They're very soft powders. So I like these powders so, so much. And I did get banana because I needed to get a powder for everybody. Now, of course, I could have gotten so many powders, but you got to choose your battles, okay? So I got something that was dark, something that was light. And they're both setting powders. So if you're lighter than me and you have a lighter complexion, you can use this too to set your whole face because, you know, it's, kind of translucent it's not necessarily opaque which um has a lot of color in it so you can actually use this as well i am so excited to be introducing to you guys my brand new extended range of products i hope that you guys will love these just as much as me let me know you guys what do you think about the packaging i love the sleekness of these powders they are not too big they can go in any purse like literally any pocket book they can go in any purse literally and the lip gloss like these lip glosses are not so big that they can't go inside of any pocketbook so i love these products so much i'm so excited for you guys to try them i'm excited while i'm trying them and yes y'all so that is the end of this video i am so excited i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you like what products you like what you plan on buying what you plan on telling your friends and how you gonna sell them. And let me and give this video a thumbs up if you've gotten this far in the video. I will be relaunching my website on Friday. I will be putting it out everything on Friday. Okay, so these products are not available yet, but they will be on Friday. So make sure you are subscribed to my website. Go ahead and subscribe, leave your name, number, all that subscribe because these might be coming to you first okay first come first serve and that's how we're gonna do it subscribe to my website so when these products do drop you will be the first to know okay so thank you all so much for watching i so appreciate you guys just for being here you know because you guys don't have to be here because i'm not even always here but i plan on showing up for my brand and i plan on showing out so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate y'all i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye